DHCP options in Unify, what are they? Well, I'm going to show you how to use some DHCP options in Unify Network. Keep watching to find out how. Hi and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching and hope you managed to hit the subscribe button. In this video, we're going to be looking at DHCP options. What are they? Well, let me jog your memory or tell you in simple terms what DHCP means and what it does in simple terms. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol and what it is used for in simple terms is that when a device such as a PC, laptop or smart TV wants to connect to your home network whether that be just a simple little home router which was provided by your internet service provider or your beefed up ubiquity home network router switch and so on. So when a device wants to gain access to your home network to share files or just plainly connect to the internet, your PC for example, when it's powered on, it will send out a DHCP broadcast message to ask if there's a router containing a DHCP server and if so, could it reply and provide your PC or whatever with an IP address, gateway address and DNS server addresses to allow your device to access the network and or the internet. Your router or Unify network router such as a UDM Pro would then respond and provide it with an IP address, gateway address and DNS server addresses so that it can connect to your home network and grant it access to the internet. Now with DHCP you can also have DHCP options and these can also include other things along with its IP address. One useful DHCP option would be DHCP option 42 which is to provide your device with addresses for network time servers. So you could also have all your devices that need setting time on them to have your UDM Pro send out time server addresses to each network device with a DHCP request so that your network devices all synchronize their clocks using the same time servers on the internet which will make things easier so that all your devices are using the same time servers available publicly on the internet to sync their clocks with the same time servers so hopefully your times for your devices should all be synchronized and keep in sync as well so that they keep their time correctly. Now on screen at the moment you will see that I've opened up a website which provides details of public NTP time servers or network time servers and here you'll see that I brought up the United Kingdom pool servers. Here we have server 0, server 1, server 2 and server 3 pool NTP servers. So what we can do is go into our network controller in my case hosted on a UDM Pro and we can set those time servers so that your UDM Pro synchronizes its time via one of these UK time servers or whichever time server you're using in whichever country and also your client devices we can have your UDM Pro send out a DHCP option 42 when it requests an IP address so that it also synchronizes its time via the same time servers. I'll put a link in the video description below for this website that provides all time servers across different countries so that you can 
pick your appropriate time server. But in this case I'm using United Kingdom time servers in this example. So let's go into our Unify Network Controller and as you can see at the moment I'm in the Unify Network Controller and I've clicked on the settings cog or which is the gear icon at the left hand side which I'm hovering over now. This will then take you into the first screen which is for your Wi-Fi networks. Firstly what you need to do is to click on the system option which I'm hovering over at the moment and which is the bottom menu option at the left hand side and that's the second menu not the far left one but the second left menu and then from the system menu you need to select the advanced option oh and by the way in this video example I'm using Unify Network Controller version 7.4.156 if you're on a lower version than this you may find that the options and the screens look different so it might be time for you to upgrade to network version 7.4.156 which is the latest publicly available version at the moment. So, moving on, we need to select Advanced. So, under Advanced, select Show More, and then scroll down, and you will see a line showing Network Time Protocol, in brackets, NTP. And here, you will see that it's ticked as Auto. So what you need to do is untick this and then you will see that there are by default NTP host names for 0.ubnt, 1.ubnt, 2.ubnt and 3.ubnt.pool.ntp.org addresses. So what we can actually do is remove all of these addresses so hover over each line and click remove which you can see we're doing at the moment and the last one is 3.ubnt.pool.ntp.org and I'm now clicking on remove so now it's asking you to enter some new NTP server host names so here if we go back to our list of NTP public time servers you will see that the first server is 0.uk.pool.ntp.org so what I'm going to do is copy and paste this into the network time protocol box where it says enter NTP server hostname and here you will see that it's now pasted 0.uk.pool.ntp.org so then I will click add then if we go back to the list of server addresses and we then paste in the second one which is 1.uk.pool.ntp.org and we can copy that and paste it into the NTP server hostname box so let's click paste and then click add and here you will now see that we have two NTP time server addresses so we can proceed to enter some more but I feel that two is enough in there anyway so once you have entered two three or four whichever you wish or even just one but I would suggest entering two so that you have a backup one in case the first one doesn't respond or doesn't work for example so then when you enter the NTP server addresses you then click apply changes then what that does is allows your UDM Pro to synchronize its time with those new time server addresses we've just entered instead of the UBNT time server default ones which we just removed however for your 
network devices to have option 42 so that they choose their network time servers from the same ones we need to click on networks which is the second option down at the left hand side then within networks you will see the following screen appear or similar to this you then need to click on the first network in the list which in this case is default or whatever you've named it to so then when you click on that it should bring up a list of network settings for that default network then you should see an option for DHCP service management here next to it you will see show options so what you need to do is click on show options it will then bring a drop down list of DHCP options here you will see the first one is DHCP NTP server and this is the option that we need to be using it is actually option 42 but to simplify things and make things clearer Unify have actually called it DHCP NTP server rather than DHCP option 42 so what you need to do is tick that box and then for the first NTP server 1 you need to enter the IP address you cannot enter the fully qualifying domain name so what that means is you cannot enter 0.uk.pool.ntp.org you have to actually enter an IP address as when DHCP options are requested they are all sent as numerical numbers rather than actual host names so for example your UDM Pro would send back its IP address DNS servers and gateway addresses as numerical numbers rather than actual host names hence why the NTP servers are sent back as numerical digits rather than actual host names I know in this case that 0.uk.pool.ntp.org converts to an IP address of 134.0.16.1 this is at the time of recording this video so you enter 134.0.16.1 in the first NTP server box then for NTP server 2 you need to enter 178.79.188.22 and that refers to server 1.uk Dot pool dot ntp dot org. so then once you've entered those two addresses you can click apply changes then in future whenever a network client for example your PC smartphone tablet laptop or smart tv request an ip address from your udm pro your udm pro will respond and provide it with those two ip addresses for the network time protocol servers so that your devices all synchronize their clocks and time via the same ntp time servers on the internet I hope you found this video useful please do hit the subscribe button and keep a lookout for further videos coming real soon thanks for watching take care and if you're watching on a friday have a good weekend